Hello, my name is Jerry, and I'm the artist who worked on the pictures in this book, Where Are You Puffling, written by Erica McGann. Now, I thought we could do some drawings, step by step, of the characters in Where Are You Puffling. It's Puffling herself, and there's Puffins, rabbits. Let me just see a nice bigger picture of Puffins here. First drawing we're going to do will be Puffins, and then the rabbits. Then I think we'll definitely draw the whales as well. There's a whale at the back. So, I'm going to start with that puffin. It'll be really easy and it'll be lots of fun if you'd like to follow along with me step by step. So if you have a piece of paper and a pencil or a marker or a pen or a paintbrush, anything you'd like to use, I'm sticking with the pencil, we'll get cracking. I'm going to put in a simple shape at the top of our page and that's where the puffin's head is going to be and then we'll do the body down there. So, a letter C, you know your big letter C. Round and round and round. Big letter C. Like that. And this is the start of our puffin's head. So we can put in the beak next, and I'm gonna do a big letter D. Like this. I suppose it's kind of like a curvy triangle. That kind of shape. Is the beak. I haven't quite finished the beak yet, but I'll just put in here a small letter C, which is like a stretchy part at the side of every puffin's beak. It stretches to help them to hold as many fish as they can manage in there. They can hold up to 20 fish, 25 fish, I think. Put in a dot here for the puffin's eye. Now we'll finish the beak. I'm going to put down line from the top to the bottom and another line there top to the bottom because they have these little sections really colorful beaks and then we can put in a smile going across just like that okay so let's try the puffin's body another simple shape so an egg eggy shape is roundy and curvy and that's the shape we're going to go for Round and round and round, like this. But I'm not gonna do a full egg. I'm gonna keep going, keep going, and then stop about there. Okay. And then for the sort of tail feathers, the back of the bird, I'm just gonna put in a squiggly line there like that. Very good. Now, we know that the puffins are black and white. They have white on their belly, and then black on their back feathers, and the top of their head is black as well. That's how we show that. I'm going to just put in a simple wavy line like this on the front of our funny looking egg shape, the puffin's body. So this is the white belly, and then afterwards we can color in this black. And then the top of the puffin's head, I'm gonna do an S shape, a kind of a falling over S shape on its side, and about there. This here will be the black bit on the top of the puffin's head. So our puffin needs to be standing up. Well, she could stay like this, still sitting down, but we're gonna give her a couple of legs, kind of small straw shapes, I suppose, like that. Okay, and then we'll put in the feet. And the puffins have webbed feet, all the birds in the sea in the rivers and in the lakes, they have web feet to help them to swim. So these are kind of a triangle shape. What we're gonna do, you know, join the dots. I'm gonna put in a dot either side, and then another dot down in the middle, in the front. And then we're gonna join those together. Join at the back. And then down to the middle, and then down again to the middle. So, we've got one webbed foot. We'll do the other one. Join the dots, dot either side, dot in the middle. And then we can just join them up together like this. Okay, so the puffins have claws on the tips of their toes. And you know why? Because they dig a hole in the ground, a burrow. And 
that is where they have their nest. They live by the sea, there's not really any big trees to have a nest up high, so they have to be safe and they stay in the ground. Other animals have burrows as well. Who else has a burrow? Rabbits! Rabbits have burrows. Okay, so I'm going to just put in a little line there and another little line there, and that makes our leg, or two feet I should say, a bit more 3D. And our puffin is completed! We can put in some grass. He's, she's standing. We can add in some of that colour. Now I'm using these chalk pastels. You can use your paint, you can use pencil, marker. And I'm just going to use, okay, I'm going to rub it on first. And then I'm going to use my finger to smudge in the black around. I'm trying to keep it just in the back area. So now we can clearly see that the belly is white. Okay. Then do another color. See, I'm getting a bit messy now. <laughs> Black fingers. So we'll put in color on the beak. Really colorful beaks. This is orange around the middle and into the front. Let's put that in there. And then towards the back of the beak is a bluey, dark bluey gray color. Much that in as well. This then that little stretchy bit that I mentioned, that small shape here, is yellow. And then a yellow line down there too. <laughs> okay, and then what color are the puffin's feet? Orange. Excellent. Really bright orange. They're so colorful, these birds are called the parrots of the sea. Or the clowns of the sea. <laughs> orange feet, orange wet feet, and there's our puffin. So, getting ready to take off, fly over into the sea and catch our fish. If you'd like to share your puffin, it would be really nice. I'd love to see them. You could ask a grown-up maybe to post it onto the social medias and we could use the hashtag Draw a puffin. So if you like this, hashtag draw a puffin. I'll keep using that hashtag for the other characters that we do as well. Okay. Thanks very much. Bye bye.